In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to get the blueprint schematics in the forest. Each cave will have a timestamp. There is usually no mutants or cannibals in these caves. I will also be showing you the best ways to spot the planks in the water. Let's get started. You want to go right about here. So you don't, hopefully you don't get attacked, but they like to go across the entire coast. They're crazy, all right? So what you want to do is very carefully make your way up the coast. I will be using mods to make it faster, but I will be pausing and showing you where I am on the map at pretty much all times, okay? So if you ever see me stop, just pause the video and go to wherever that location is. But again, you want to make your way up the coast, all right? There's only three blueprint caves you have to worry about. This is going to be the first one. So you want to make your way right here on the map. You want to make your way over to that piece of land, just like so. I can, I can just fly there. Let me just put this away. All right. You then, once you get onto this random piece of land right here, you want to go right in the middle-ish area like this. And you want to aim... I don't have my HUD on, but you want to aim your cursor right at that land, right across from you, all right? And as you're swimming, I'll be flying, but as you're swimming, you should see a random plank in the water floating. That'll be the first cave, all right? Let's just go on in here. Let's pretend that we're swimming, but it probably won't very work very well with me. There it is right there. You see it? You see it right there? All right? The sun is setting on this spot right here, but there is the first plank and it's right here on the map again you're gonna need the rebreather so you better have the rebreather otherwise <laughs> you're kind of screwed and i also have to freaking turn back the time again because the time likes oh my goodness hello the time likes to be crazy all right see now that that's fixed and i have my rebreather on let's head on into the cave hell, hell yeah brother want to kind of just swim what is happening you just want to kind of swim there's only really one way to go. Like, I don't understand how you could mess that up. All right, here is the first thing you'll find. That is the thing you're going to need to jump off of when you get the hand glider. You might want to use this rope to get down. I'm going to jump down because I have, I have God mode on. Oop. The second piece is in here as well. All right, here is some crossboat ammo. And here is... The hand glider that you're gonna need to use the well, it's just good to have. Let's just be honest. There's the hand glider, okay? You then want to make your way over to the anchor on the bottom of the map there, the bottom left map. You see that anchor? Uh the best way to do it is just follow just follow the the coast. That's the best way to do it. Le Anchor. Alright, there it is on the map. That's where you'll be on the map. You want to make your way over to that island over there. Uh, you could maybe use this island to get over there. Yeah, that'll help you a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it's still deep enough. Yeah, it's still deep enough. So if a shark comes at you, you're, you're going to get bit by a shark either way. So uh, it is what it is. If you don't want to get bit by a shark, just use a boat. Once you get over here, you're going to see half of a ship right here. You should be able to simply... There it is on the map. You should be able to simply follow the boat. You can see it in the water right there, hopefully. Just f literally follow the boat. I don't know if you can mess this up or not, but if you just follow it, like so, you'll come across, once again, a plank in the water. I can just swim down here, like so. All the way down. And then, I believe we want to go into this hole right here. Yes, we do. Hopefully, it'll put the rebreather on automatically. Yes, it did. Thank you. Okay. And again, no mutants, no cannibals. No mutants, no cannibals. It's just really dark in these caves. That's literally it. There's nothing to worry about. Again, if you don't have the rebreather, you got to go get that. Probably should have said that up at the top before I did anything. But it is what it is. Here it is. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, we're going to just go straight. And here is the crossbow. I rarely ever use the crossbow. I prefer the bow. The bow is just better in many ways. If you look to your right, you will see a blueprint. There is a blueprint 
for, I believe, the cross, the church, and a coffin. There is now one more blueprint we have to get. So we're going to leave the cave by going the exact same way. You literally can't mess it up. Head all the way back to the anchor. You want to make your way to the main cannibal camp. You want to come to the cave entrance right here, right? You then want to just turn around and simply head straight across. Okay, so just keep going straight just like this. You might get interrupted by cannibals. Oi! Go away! You want to just make your way straight across. That guy, that guy doesn't even care. Okay, just go straight. Just keep heading straight like this. All right. Keep heading straight. Keep heading straight till you get to the edge just like so. All right. You'll see a patch of land right there. You want to make your way to the left. Okay, so you see those islands right there. Just head on over to the coast just like so. All right, just follow. Well, I guess the edge of whatever the heck this is. But follow the edge until you get to this place. It looks just like this. And it'll be right here on the map. So you want to get to this area right here. You want to head onto these rocks right here. Just like this. And you literally, you could probably just see it just by looking at it. But it is right there where my light is. Okay, that's where the plank is. Let's go over to the plank. Just like so. Watch out for sharks again. And here that is on the map. Heading straight on down into it. Just head down. This one's more tricky. You just got to move your guy around a bit and just head straight down. That's all you got to do. Move your guy. Head straight down. All right. This one you could get lost in. But again, there's literally only one way to go. I don't see how you could mess it up. All right. Keep swimming straight, and then you want to look up once you get to that part back there. Look up, and come on out. And we're going to just walk straight. All right. Again, no mutants, no cannibals. Uh, we have to actually head into this hole, which I forgot about, to be totally honest. Completely forgot about that, so head back into the water. I forgot that there was a second part to go down. I hardly ever go in this cave. I don't know why, but I hardly ever do. Okay, I'm going to come to the bottom like this, and you want to just head right into this bottom part here. It's literally the only way to go, all right? Head into this bottom part, and then go up and out, just like that. There is a piece of clothing you can wear if you choose to wear it. There it is. Looks like a nice little suit is what it looks like. And then there is the slide. We should have all of them. So there is one. The glider is two. The tower is three. And the log track is four. And now that you have all of the blueprints, this is what each one of them will look like. You have a little slide. You have the hand glider. You have the tower to go up and cast your hand glide off of. You got your cross. You got your coffin. And you got the church. You can go in the church too. Just like this. Right? You can go in. You can put stuff like this. Look at that guy. Oh my god. Look at that. All right, you, could, you can fill up the church, which is dope as hell. And then you can use the tower to simply run off and start gliding with your glider, just like this. Okay. Just up and down. If you aim it down, you go farther, or faster, I should say. You can go left and right, but there you go. You can I think you can go down and then back up again, too. Not 100% sure on that. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, that's how the glider works. You just put G to get off it. Jump. You hit mouse one, you can slide right down the slide. Look at that. You can do that just anywhere, to be honest. Wherever there's a little thing to slide down, you can just do it. Like that, see? Better do it in the snow, though. But that's that's all of the items with the blueprints attached to it. So that is how you collect all the blueprints in the forest. There is only four blueprints. I hope the tutorial was easy for you to understand and easy for you to follow. Leave a like if it was. And we're going to do one more thing in the forest. I'm going to show you exactly how to get every single thing and a general area of where everything should be. So you can get the book completely done if you want to. There is no achievement for completing the book. I just want to do it because I am the kind of person that likes to have just everything done in a game. 
that I really enjoy. All right. So no blueprint or no uh, achievement, but it's still fun to do. And it looks very cool when everything's colored in and looking nice. All right. So that's going to be the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye. Oh,